Hey everybody, I'm Justin Beck and this is the Monday Rundown, your top news in commercial real estate from across the U.S., the Southeast, and the cities in which we do business. So let's get started with number one. Jacksonville-based Winn-Dixie Stores has quietly been closing 19 stores throughout the Southeast. Now, none of them are in the Northwest Florida Panhandle area, except for one on Russell Road in Tallahassee. We'll keep track of this as it develops, but Jacksonville taking a different approach and closing down a few stores. Okay, exciting news in downtown Orlando as the University of Central Florida breaks ground on their new downtown campus. The first building, Dr. Phillips Commons, is going to serve 7,000 students and is going to be the Kickstarter for the Creative Village, a $1 billion public-private partnership. What a great idea. University presence in downtown. Okay. Number three, sticking with the university theme, Quad Real Estate, Vancouver-based private equity firm has invested $600 million in CA Living. Now, why is this important? Well, they've got two projects, one at the University of Florida called Social 28, and the other one at FSU in Tallahassee called The Onyx. Investment in student housing continues to thrive, and our two of our great Florida universities, FSU and UF, are the stars of student housing throughout the country. All right, number four, let's take a trip north up to Chattanooga, where CBL and Associates announced last week that they are selling two of their malls for $53 million to New York-based Time Equities. Big sale in the enclosed mall world. It's an industry that many have said have been struggling, but as you can see here, $53 million, big sale and investment in the retail mall space. All right, number five, the Wall Street Journal reported last week that Apple has started to move employees into their $5 billion spaceship style headquarters that's been under construction for several years. Now, if you've watched this development, you know that it is massive. It is circular and glass and steel and all things tech. And big news that they're finally moving employees into it. So congratulations to Apple and the brainchild of Steve Jobs. Okay, everybody, that's your Monday rundown. Have a great week and I'll see you back here next Monday.